Hi, my name is Susan Andreessen. I'm an eco artist. I paint environmental animals in in this planet that we live in, and we are a species that is part of the environment. I will show you how you can make your oil paintings vibrant like nature and how to make them interesting for a client to buy them or for you to personally enjoy them. So, let us start first with what you would need to start an oil painting, which would be your equipment. First you would need uh, a canvas and you would also need to prepare what kind of composition you want to do. Um, it depends on if you want the animal to be coming at you or if you want the animal to be resting in a environment of grasses, for example for a red wolf, or if you wanted to have a rhinoceros coming racing at you right off the canvas. Don't be afraid to take part of the uh, foot of a rhino off or an elephant coming at you. What you will be doing is seeing what the species does naturally in the wild and this is what we're going to put on the canvas. This is what makes a painting exciting. And when you do this you will be very successful. So this is what we're going to start. And when you um, buy your oils, make sure that the oils that you buy are not um, student oils. You should buy oils that are of good quality because this way if you have a successful oil painting, you'll be able to sell it if you want. And if you buy second-rate children's oils, they do not have the quality and do not carry on the stamina for generations to come. Also, you need oil uh, varnish and linseed oil to use for thinning when you paint on the canvas. And your canvas can be wood. It can also be uh, stretched canvases, which is what I use. And I use stretched canvases on linen, which is the best way to do it. And you also, I use palette knife, which is what I use to get water. And I will show you certain techniques in other lessons that I am going to show you how to do. So, as I have started to state, we will go forward. And in time, you will see how to do many different styles and techniques in this lesson. And I hope that you'll be excited and join us for the next lesson. Thank you very much.